my motherboard at? Where my battery? Okay. Get replacing three volt button battery. It's right here. You're gonna take this little screwdriver and put pressure on the corner and simply pop it out. And this is the old one right here. You got some new ones right here. I'm starting to know it. I am. I just replaced a nine volt button battery. I'm replacing the old nine volt button battery <laughs> and putting the new one in. This is the new one. The same. Up to four. Three volt. And it's in. I just put it in. Everything's fine. Thank you. Got the uh, new battery in. Gook. I'm going to spray my alcohol in all, in all these ports. Let's see. All of those. There's a separate UBS port and earphone port on this side. Clear out some of the dust. Then I'm gonna take a a brush, a small paint brush. Spread also. Take and just rub it inside. I can see that some of the copper connectors are showing up. They're looking more clear. It's gonna rub the brush back and forth inside the port, UBS port. Just slightly sticker in the other ones with the go in. That's my power connector right here. So like a fax machine or another monitor connector. That's the internet jack. There's another name for that, the uh, enter the some cable. Alright, moving right along. Let me spray a little more. Oh, something just fell off the table. That was my remote. Spray a little more here, my two jacks on the side. Taking my brush here and just going over. Let me turn it upside down. Okay, there's my copper. Looking at my copper wine at the bottom. Taking my brush, going over that. You can get clogged with dust and gook. Going back and forth. Okay, let me spray the top side of this, like that, and people peeping at me, that's alright, let's see, now I would like to take out the um, process and put some new heat sink paste on it, so we're going to cut that for now, so we just got through cleaning. Clean the porch. There's another port here. Let's see what's up in here. Spread a little bit more alcohol on there. Take my brush and go across those cables, connectors. Okay. That's my clock battery right here. Seems to be working okay, so we're not going to mess with that. Um, well I might change it. It's a 9 volt button battery. So let me go see if I have a 9 volt button battery hanging on my wall. Okay, I'm getting ready to replace the, um, from 